So let's have a look at rub skin. Let's, get, yeah, dude, let's face I'm, it, I'm, breakfast is ruined. I'm ready. Yeah, let's rub our skins to rub skin. I'm ready to move on from politics now. All right, yeah. Uh, start with uh, Mission McGriddleburger, part two, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mac Griddleburger. MC Griddle. Yeah, well, why don't you get yourself a McGriddleburger, you know? <laughs> Here we go again. Is that again. like your 80s hip-hop impression? Um, would it be possible for me to get a McGriddle with a cheeseburger on it? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Can I get the double cheeseburger then with the McGriddle on it? Oh, uh, double cheese meal? I mean, I don't want you to know. You can't do any of it. It kind of sounds like though. diabetes from restaurants. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, um, but I want a cheeseburger on it instead of, uh, instead of the sausage. Well, uh, we, we don't have the meat ready, though. Um, uh, what if I came back at, like, uh, 1025? Yeah, they're lying. Oh, they're you lying. Lying. Then you'll be able to make me a McGriddle with the hamburger on it? Uh, let me ask, okay? Okay. <laughs> Dude, he has to go speak to the manager. Hello. We're not oh. ready yet. Right, I know, but uh, if I came back at like 10 o'clock? You want to come back 10 o'clock? It won't be ready. It's going to be start at 10.30. Right, I know, bitch. but I've been here before what lunchtime, a bitch, dude. and they don't have the McGriddle cake. wait 30 minutes. No. But if, dude, if I... Fuck McDonald's, dude. They're full of shit. Okay? No. They're full of fucking no. shit. <laughs> they could make a fucking McGriddle burger if they wanted to. And be like, okay, like, like these people are just giving him the runaround. They're not even trying to help him. You know? like, yeah. Okay, let's, sure. We'll, we'll, because I, I feel like they're just like, like, okay, okay this order. is why McDonald's is technically not a restaurant. Because they're not selling you like food that's been prepared. They're just yeah. giving you prepackaged, heavily way, processed bullshit. We, we should show this video to uh, that, that one uh, Karen cop that was crying over not getting a fucking McMuffin. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Just so yeah, this she is knows, the real social injustice. Yeah, just so she knows, like, what kind of service, like, regular people have to expect from McDonald's. I, I've got a question. What if they didn't serve him because he's a bear? <laughs> oh. Something well, something tells me that they can't even, they can't really see. Dude, imagine if they fucking pulls up in a fucking drive through and he's like, hey, what's up, you know? Like, can, hey, can I get um, one of those McGriddle bags? <laughs> I mean, I, I could break the fourth wall for a second and uh, explain why I think that's not <laughs> gonna happen, but... <laughs> You see in one of the later on videos, I don't know if it's in this one, he is actually in the fucking car. Yeah, he's got the Teddy Rubskin, dude. He's got Teddy Rubskin right there like with him. in the driver's seat? Teddy Rubskin is in the driver's seat right now. Damn, dude. Yeah. Dude, some fucking... What do you mean fourth wall, Jay? What are you talking uh, about? I don't know. My old seizure for a second. Stop resisting. Yeah, I think uh, Jay <laughs> is, is hanging out 5150. I'm on a McGriddle <laughs> bun <laughs> on, a, on a double cheeseburger. Uh, okay, just pay for the McGriddle bun, take it with you, and bring it back 10 o'clock. Oh, but it won't be fresh anymore. Cool. Wait, okay, yeah, get a, get the, we'll give you the McGriddle buns, wait 30 minutes, and then bring it back, and we'll give you the, what, fuck off, bitch. Dude, dude, yeah, yeah, the, giving yeah. you the ingredients to make the burger yourself should be, like, the quickest thing you could ever do at McDonald's. Put the McGriddle buns aside, and wait, and go make a fucking McGriddle burger in 30 minutes. That Not that fucking hard, dude. Yeah. I just want to point out, like, if this is something that, like, a Karen wanted from McDonald's, we, we would have made fun of her, but because it's Teddy, Teddy Rubskin, we're just like, yeah, that, that is bull. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it is, dude. Yeah, you're right. If this was a fucking human being ordering it, but this is a fucking Yeah, but this bear, is a pillar of the community. Yeah. I mean, like, can you not just give him this one yeah. thing? McDon nah, dude. Fuck like, McDonald's. They're full of shit. We need to talk about reparations for bears, but maybe that can be a whole episode. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at their fucking habitat. We've completely taken over. Yeah, dude. Yeah, now now all they can do is, like, sit on these reservations yeah. all day. And, and whenever a bear just, like, walks into town, immediately the cops show up. Do you think that's just a coincidence every, every fucking time? You're actually right. <laughs> you're actually fucking right. <laughs> yep, you're right. There's a systemic issue at play, and I don't think it's going to change unless we acknowledge it. Dude. Yeah, dude, have you also noticed that, like, uh, on certain brands of honey, like, uh, the jar is shaped in the form of a bear? Like, that's kind of racist. Yeah. Like, and have you seen, like, how bears are portrayed in media? They're either just, like, dumb, cuddly animals, or they're just, like, vicious killers. <laughs> When's the last time you've seen, like, a strong bear hero in a piece yeah, of media? Think about this, though. Like, the, the most famous bear, Winnie the Pooh, they have shit in his name. That's how fucking low they consider these poor animals. Eats honey all day, just does nothing. Yeah, he, but he's, he's, still he's like, a lazy fucking retard 
Picard who's gluttonous and just like totally absent minded. I mean, like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's repugnant to me that like we've stepped this low. Yeah. And <laughs> but, not even a McGriddle burger. Not even that. Yep. Come back Can't... as a human. We'll give you like a different meal. No, no dude, no skin, no service. Man, fuck McDonald's. <laughs> no skin, no service. No rub skin. No rub. No ru <laughs> oh, I do. Wait, he is. He does have skin. It won't be hot and fresh. <laughs> I mean, exactly. what, what do you what do you do with the McGriddle buns after <laughs> breakfast? We turn it away. If we have some love, we turn it away. Uh. Just, you know, if you want to just come like this, the media will be right. He's we just run. like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how would companies. you react? Like, if you just strolled up and you wanted a burger and they're just like, ah, oh, we can't do that. You got to come back later. It's like, uh. You know what the sad thing is? is she's like, yeah, we throw them out like, after fucking breakfast. You wouldn't even save one for Teddy yeah, Rubskin. Like that, that's the point. You know, that's <laughs> save one for Teddy, yo. Save one. Go make him a fucking McGriddle burger, yo. He'll pay extra. He'll pay. Dude, like McDonald's isn't fucking like, uh, like McDonald's can't fucking put together a special order for someone and like charge them extra. Get the fuck out of here. If I can go to Jack in the Box, order off their secret menu, and have someone jack off in my box for an extra five bucks, then you don't think I should be able to go to McDonald's and get a McGriddle burger? Yeah, dude. Ready, and they can make it for you. Oh. Like ten twenty-five. You know, well, well, we're gonna have meat ready for lunch, <laughs> and they can make it with a McGriddle. Oh, uh, what? Well, what about that steak thing that's on the, uh, you know, the the bagel? Sorry? <laughs> What about that steak thing that's on the bagel thing? You want a steak bagel? We have it ready now. Well, I mean, uh, the steak egg bagel, but can you put the steak on a McGriddle? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very delivery now, he says. Well, what's that going to cost? Because I'm not a big fan of the sausage. I oh, oh, oh. told you for the steak bagel, and instead of putting it on a bagel, we can put it on a McGriddle for you. I don't know, I'll be honest, yeah, dude, the, the, the McDonald's sausages are not that great. Oh, fuck you, Jack. Nah, that, that, dude, I've had way better sausages. Like, like, McDonald's, McDonald's is like subpar sausage. It's not terrible. Like, it's edible. Like, I'll eat it, but like... You've heard of the Animatcher special before, right? No, yeah, no, I have, and it's good. I, I'll trust, no, no, no I, I like a fucking sausage Mc, McMuffin, dude, but, uh, like, I, I'll be honest, like, like I, I'd much rather have any other, uh, not any other sausage, but th 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 there are other sausages. I'd, I'd rather have the, the McDonald's one. Fuck you, Jay. You're a communist. McDonald's. Bacon. Bacon. Yeah, dude, that's a good. I like bacon. Bacon's yeah. better, yeah. McDonald's has better bacon than they do uh, sauce. Yeah, but you can't just eat bacon and cheese on a sandwich, though. Well, why not? Uh, you need more substance than that. Nah. You're bacon. buying food from McDonald's. What the fuck are you talking <laughs> yeah, about, Anna? What do you mean substance? <laughs> Look, here, here's the thing, dude. I'm very particular in my McDonald's eating, okay? <laughs> Very particular and McDonald's don't go together, dude. I'm particular about what I eat <laughs> at McDonald's. That's like saying, it's true. Yeah, especially that's when like it comes saying, to like sausage, which is like made out of like pig intestines yeah, and other nasty dude, shit. Yeah, dude, but it's that's like saying I'm very particular about the dumpster food I eat. <laughs> I'm not just gonna eat any old fucking banana that's lying around in there. They have to be at least pretty ripe. McDonald's is subpar. Everything they it, pretty much. Like, there's not much I can think of at McDonald's that's, that's like, oh, here's some quality. But I'll, I'll be honest, dude. There's some shit at McDonald's I'd rather have than other shit. And, uh... Yeah, like the McGriddle. But but fuck that sausage, yo. I don't want that sausage. I, I want the fucking... I, I want a fucking double cheeseburger, Pat. That's all I fucking want, yo. I want a McBiggle burger. <laughs> okay. I want a McBiggle burger. Okay. I just like the steak with the cheese, but you don't have to put the eggs on there, because the eggs are kind of gross. <laughs> He's just like, yeah... <laughs> Wow, so how you want the McGriddle then? I want a McGriddle, uh, Dude, just pissed. with with the steak <laughs> and like the onions, right? It's onions. So you want only a steak and onions? Steak and onions and cheese. That's it? On a McGriddle. That's it. Because the steak is like a burger, right? The steak's pretty much just like a burger, right? Uh, no. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah, I'd like a uh, a power aid, a small power aid. Okay. Is that the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my god. So, I got the uh, steak McGriddle because supposedly the lady said it tasted like hamburger, but it didn't. It didn't taste anything like hamburger. Aww. It was gross. Boo. It was disgusting. Boo. And not what I want. Boo. So the mission continues. Fuck YouTube for banning this this person. What do you mean, I mean, fuck like me. What did I do? I'm, like, I'm saying YouTube. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about YouTube. 
All right, if I said Fuck YouTube, YouTube for banning this person, because I mean, like they, they have like Nazis pushing like the Jewish question on their website, but but Teddy Rubskin is too far because he yeah, insulted dude. Bible man. Dude, fucking JF is allowed on this platform, but not fucking Teddy Rubskin. Are you fucking serious? I, as a quick aside, yeah. Mick, because I, I did a vlog with him, and some viewers of mine actually recognized Mick in public. He was like at IKEA or something. They will, like walk up wow. to, to him and they're like, "Are you the guy from that video, Spike did?" And he's like, "Yeah." So I've never been recognized in public, but Mick, who appeared in one of my videos, <laughs> has based on like my name recognition. So Damn. that's actually fucking hilarious. Yeah, First time I'm I'll ever recognized that. in public, it's gonna be like, "Oh, yo, yo, you're that dude that streams with Swegta, right?" <laughs> dude, uh, dude uh, all right. N now it's time for me to bring up my fucking story about this shit. Like every once in a while on Under the Hood, like there will be someone who's like, "Holy shit, I've never seen." Is this Swegta? Is this fucking Swe- Well, first of all, we don't sound anything alike. Uh, I don't look like him, but I can understand that those probably- people have probably just never seen what you look like. Probably a lot of people have no idea what you fucking look like, but I just find it funny, like, I sound nothing like you at all, and some people still think that it's me. Like, they'll just tune in randomly to one of my vlogs and be like, oh my god, it's fucking Swegta. Holy shit, hi Swegta! And I have to be like, no, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but- You um... should just play along one day and just be like, yeah. <laughs> Here I am. Hey, you said it, not me. You we said need, it, we not need a me. New bull I mean, I, I condone it, but I don't think the law does. So, uh, do we have anything else we want to look at before we wrap it up? Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, I wanted to tell you guys about uh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, no, thank you, dude. I don't want to talk about, like, there's been more Butch Hartman drama. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about Butch Hartman anymore. <laughs> I've had enough. I've had it's enough. It's by far the most popular thing we've done. You mentioned this in the chat before we, we uh, went live. You're like, okay, we covered the riots and they got, like, okay views for our channel size, but then we did this Butch Hartman shit. Yeah, so let's never do that ever again. <laughs> yeah. <I didn't>... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I, I would want... like to talk about it again because apparently that guy, Kuro, he's suing Butch Hartman, or there's a lawsuit going on. So uh, when that, when that, like, uh, when we get more information on that, then we can talk about it again. But for now, I mean, all he's done is uh, change over his his Twitter's private now. Like, you have to be following him in order to see his tweet. That's not a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all I'm saying is that it doesn't look good for Butch Hartman legally if he has to private his fucking account after like he's literally, you know, had this whole fucking situation. No, no, that, that's like some lawyer telling him, like, dude, there's probably like incriminating shit on your Twitter by now, so you just take it down. I mean, why wouldn't he just delete his Twitter then? Like, because now, like, uh, let's see, 300. I mean, it's because, like, he still wants to, like, maintain the Twitter handle, like, in case somebody else uh, jacks it. Oh, yeah, bitch shark man. Yeah, you're probably fucking right, dude. I'm the scat, man. Y you know what yeah. the funny thing is, too? Is, um, one of the things that he tweeted out, like, the day after, like, it was, like, actually, like, a few days after all that drama happened, he just tweeted out one word, unshakable. I guess not, because he fucking... <laughs> oh, I had, a, like, a, I had another word in mind. All right. Take care, audience. Peace.